Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. Seven years ago a video went viral on the internet of a man blowing into an instrument known as the Aztec Death Whistle, a school shaped object that sounds just as terrifying as it looks. The death whistle really came to the world's attention back in the 1990s after a 500 year old skeleton was discovered close to an Aztec temple in Mexico City. It was a beheaded male who died in his 20s, thought to be a victim of human sacrifice, and his hands were found clutching two small whistles, one of which was in the shape of a skull. As many of us would probably do, a researcher blew into the school shaped instrument and he heard a horrifying sound described as a shriek of death. The whistle gives a terrifying high pitched sound that is similar to a human scream and at the end of this short video I'll play the sound for you all to hear. Music archaeologist Arndaj Both examined the whistle and said there are different airstreams generated within the structure of these instruments, which then diametrically hits against each other, and thus the Aztecs were able to produce a very shrill and noisy sound. Nobody really knows what they were used for, but some speculate they were used to scare enemies in warfare. Talking to Gizmodo.com, art historian Juan Arredondo said, you can imagine the frightening sound if you had 200 or 300 or 5000 warriors blowing these instruments. That would be extremely intimidating. But there is another body of thought that they were actually used in rituals to induce trances. To heal rather than terrify. But when you hear the sound shortly, I think you'll agree that this explanation is somewhat unlikely. The fact that a whistle was found in the hand of a sacrificed individual seems to imply they were involved in this ancient practice. This also seems likely because of the fact that a human skull is often carved onto the whistles, that they were instruments used in death rituals, maybe blown by the sacrificed victim moments before they met their fate. Interestingly, the temple that the sacrificed man was found close to back in the 1990s was dedicated to the Aztec wind god whose name I struggle to pronounce but is shown on screen, so some speculate it could be a call to this god. Maybe they were meant to sound like the wind, but again, nobody can know for sure. There are a number of death whistles in museums and private collections around the world, and you can even buy 3D printed replicas today. They first came to light in the 1970s after Jose Luis Franco published the first drawings. In his pictures shown here, we can see a school like face on the outside and he also draws the whistle's internal structure, which is actually best seen in this diagram. In the 1913 book, Myths of Mexico and Peru by Lewis Spence, he notes a whistle being blown in an Aztec ceremony, which is the only reference to a possible ancient use. The book says, The most remarkable festival in connection to Tezcatlipoca was the Toxcatl, held in the fifth month. On the day of the festival, a youth was slain who, for an entire year previously, had been carefully instructed in the role of victim. He assumed the name, garb and attributes of Tezcatlipoca himself, as the earthly representative of the deity. He carried also the whistle symbolic of the deity, known as Lord of the Night Wind, and made with it a noise just like the weird wind of the night as it hurries through the streets. Tezcatlipoca was the god of the night sky and was one of the major Aztec deities, whose cult was brought to Mexico by the Toltecs. Death whistles have been of great interest to academic circles since the 1970s, but it was thanks to a viral video in 2013 that they were brought to mainstream attention. So if you missed the video back then, here is the chilling sound of the Aztec death whistle. And please, don't have nightmares. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.